Okay, uh, this is uh, another problem, uh, problem number four. And this time they use the concept called the threshold frequency for the photoelectric emission. So this is the same case where you have a piece of metal and you shine the light, H new, and then the you know electrons are start to uh, wants to come out, and the, this is a photoelectric effect. So electron wants to come out with uh, that kind of the kinetic energy, uh, and the below which uh, they are being bounded. And this is an energy we call this the, the binding energy, also known as ionization energy, and also known as threshold frequency. So this is a, a, what I call uh, new with a TH subscript. To solve this problem, uh, essentially you shine the light, uh, shining light, and that will be used to take the electron out of the surface and in this form that's a threshold frequency times a, a Planck constant times uh, what we call the kinetic energy which is the energy left over to move the electron around so if you're looking up there the kinetic energy is the portion can be shown as here so this is a kinetic energy for the electron to move around and here we go and uh, this is a uh, information was given as threshold frequency and so the threshold frequency is uh, nu th and also the average kinetic energy uh, of an electron is being asked so this is a uh, Ke is being asked when the frequency of the light or shine on that was this number, and this one is or now the mu itself. So the question is, what is the kinetic energy of the electron that moves around when you shine energy h nu, and it takes h nu threshold to escape from the surface? So therefore, H mu minus mu threshold, and you just have to plug in the numbers. So 6.63, uh, 10 to the minus 30, uh, 34, and then multiply by, always uh, my mu, now uh, this one is 1.5 this is 1.1 10 to the 15 so this is therefore is this is a 1.4 times 10 to the 15 and then if you if you do this calculation and you will get and this will get get you here is 2.65 to minus 19 joule. So 2.65 10 to minus 16 joule. So this is an answer. Okay, number five. And this is a question about what is the wavelength of an electron at a moving at a certain speed. And this is concerning the matter wave equation. And the metal wave equation, the wavelength of that metal wave is going to be Planck constant divided by what is called the momentum. And that momentum is mass times speed. And so there's H over mv. So this is about regarding the electron. So we need to know the mass of an electron. And we need to look up the, the handout in your textbook. And this says uh, 9.1 10 to the minus 31 kilogram. Okay, so I want to emphasize a kilogram. And then also the problem says the speed is 6 point, 3.66 10 to the 6 meter per second. So this is also uh, meter second kilogram, that kind of unit. So this is a unit what we call the 
MKS unit. And so as long as you're using the unit in terms of meter, kilogram, second, MKS unit, all the numbers will be worked out uh, to be correct. Because the one that we are going to use in H, this is the, in the unit of joule times second. And this is a joule is an MKS unit. So as long as we plug in those numbers that we know, uh, we'll get an answer, uh, which is a lambda, which is a wavelength. So unit of a length is a meter. So you will get a unit in the unit of meter. So let's plug in the numbers. So lambda is, we'll just know everything is an MKS unit. So 6.6. .6 3 10 to the minus 34 and mass is 9.1 10 to the minus 31 and V is 3.66 10 to the 6 and you will get the unit in the as a unit of meter in the unit of meter so the way that I solve this problem, I would recommend you to kind of sort it out. 6.63, 9.1, 3 3.66 on one side, and work with the power, which is a minus 34 plus 31 minus 6. And that will lead me to get... Uh, say 0 0.199 plus so this one comes together will be minus 9 so there will be a minus 9 so that will make me uh, 1.99 so moving this one to the other side uh, 1.99 10 to the minus uh, 10. And we have answer here, so which is a B. This is a number six, and this is a question about which transition represent emission of a photon uh, with the most energy. So what this means is N is representing the, the state of an electron and how the energy is going to be bound by those uh, electrons. And we are going to, I am going to draw this energy diagram that I drew kind of before. This is an energy of bounded electron and there is a zero. And then now I'm going to put a multi-level. This is a, let's say, n is 1, this is n is 2, this is n is 3, this is n is 4. So there are many levels uh, can, can exist. And eventually when n is infinity, this corresponding to the energy level of a vacuum where just uh, electron barely escape. So there are two kinds of scenario that you can think about when the electrons was initial energy was here and moving up to the top upper so this is let's say uh, moving from n is 1 to 3 in this case in order to move the electron from lower energy to higher energy you need to shine the light so this is a phenomena we call absorption Ab absorption light in the contrast uh, let me use a different color uh, so when you have a electron in a higher energy state and they're going to come down to a lower energy state in this case light will be coming out and this is what we in this case this is what we call this emission so when n, they say, is a from high number to lower number, that's an emission. This is the same thing that when you, when you uh, 
press on the laser pointer, you see the laser light coming out. This is because higher energy electrons up there is coming down to be a lower energy electrons and the photons are being in emitted. So first thing is now you need to figure out from the which is an emission state and so they say this one, this one, this one is uh, representing the transition for the emission whereas uh, A and C representing the absorption of a photon for, uh, for the case. So now the question is now among choice of B, D, and E, which one represent the most of the energy and how do we calculate that? And then that we have to uh, uh, looking at the, the, the information sheet in the textbook and you'll find this equation shown up as 1 over lambda is RH and then this is a 1 over n1 square minus n2 square. So this one representing the, the energy level differences for different principal numbers of uh, electrons, which is n1 and n2. So that represents the transition, and this is the, the wavelength of light associated with that. And the, but we're still talking about not the wavelengths, but the energy. So how is that energy of photon that you know, which is H nu, but also you will realize the nu is the frequency is a C over lambda. So in this form, by using this C over lambda, uh, we can relate that as H speed of light times the 1 over lambda, which is a R H 1 over N1 square minus N2 square. So it comes down to the fact that I have to compare this the differences 1 over N square numbers because the H C R H values are constant. So what matters the most is this value here. So the for the case of the B which is uh, n equal 2 to 1, you are talking about r, I would say rh, uh, then the 1 over 1 minus 1 over 4. And the case for the d, which is n is 3 to 1, and we are talking about rh 1 over 1 to 1 over 9. And the case for the E, which is uh, n equals 6 to 3, that's an RH, 1 over 9, minus 1 over 36. So whichever this number that you calculate is the highest will be the, uh, the most energy. And this one that when you calculate that, that's, this number is about 0 0.75. And this is about 0 0.89, and this is about 0 0.083. So this is the one essentially highest energy uh, for the emitted light. So therefore, the answer will be here, will be D.